Hello, today I'll show you how to make your own speaker jumper cables using spade and banana plugs. More expensive speakers often have two sets of terminals on the back, one for the woofer, low frequencies, and one for the tweeter, high frequencies. This allows you to buy wire, use separate wires for highs and lows from the same amplifier, or buy amp, use two amplifiers to drive highs and lows separately, which can improve sound quality and give you more power. Bi amping is the best way to connect your speakers, but it requires an extra amplifier, a preamp, and an extra pair of cables. If you're not bi amping, jumper cables are a great way to improve the signal path and sound quality. That's because the stock metal plates most speakers come with are usually low quality and can negatively affect the sound, although some say that's more of a snake oil topic. For me, jumper cables is the easiest way to connect the speaker terminals if you've lost the original metal jumpers and don't have bi wire cables. If you want to see how to make beautiful and high quality audio and power cables, check out my previous videos. But now, to make jumper cables, you'll need some audio cable. The better the cable, the better the jumper will be. I found a nice QED cable in my cable stock. Next, you'll need spade or banana plugs. Choose depending on what kind of cable you're using from your amplifier to your speakers. In my case, I'm using banana plugs on one end and spades on the other. Then measure how long your jumper cables need to be. I recommend adding a little extra length just in case. Now ask your grandma for some tools, pliers, wire cutters, a sharp knife, and a screwdriver. Start by cutting four pieces of wire to your measured length. After cutting, remove the outer insulation. This will make your jumper cables look cleaner, and as we all know, placebo also affects audio performance. To install the spade or banana plugs, there are two ways. Solder the wires to the connectors or screw them in. Since my cable is high quality and doesn't oxidize, I'll go with the screw method, it's faster. But if your wire is prone to oxidizing, it's better to solder the ends. Next, unscrew the plug and measure how much outer jacket needs to be removed. Carefully remove it, twist the copper wires tightly, insert wire into the plug, and make sure the metal screws inside the plug press directly on the wires, not on the insulation. Tighten the screws well for a solid connection. Reassemble the plug, and now one side of the jumper cable is done. Now repeat the same process for the other end. Unscrew the connector, check how much wire to strip, twist the wire, and screw it in tightly. Once done, check the color and make sure red is on both ends and same for black. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the wires until all jumper cables are finished. I really like how they look, very high-end style. I connected them to my speakers and honestly, just looking at them already makes it feel like they sound better. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. We're getting close to 100K, which is amazing.